So um, me and Valeria are going to present Celia and Fernanda. Its function is to transport cells from one place to another. Uh, for single cells such as sperm, you can see it in the picture, this enables them to swim. And for cells on coordinate tissue, like the epidural cells lining our, in our air passages, like um, when you swallow a dust, it goes, it doesn't stay there for a while, for, forever. It goes away up here, right? So that's what the germ is. <coughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. Its structure, um, they have different structures, both cilia and flagella. But they're both proteins. Um, cilia is kind of like this, which is like, um, it moves like this. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And like, it's like the lightning ship, this part. And flagella is like the motor, motor of those cell pieces, of those bolts. Uh, but they both do the same thing. They both transport cells from one place. <coughs> Celia and flagella was discovered by Anton van Leeuwen Koerk in 1635. Uh, Scherke said that Celia and flagella are actually active organelles that are moved by contractile material that is distributed along their length. So this is the pictures, how it looks like. You can see the cells from right? There's the... Mm -hmm. From the microscope, the first. Okay, okay. Lena, don't talk. So, where they appear, cilia are mostly found in eukaryotic cells, animal cells, plant cells, not single cell, uh, cell, cell organisms. Flagella are similar to cilia but were around first. They are found in eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells, bacteria. And that's it.